since May, we've seen, as some reports are saying, as many as 47 people have died in these riots, have been killed. Mm -hmm. And so now we're seeing the Justice Department going after cities like New York City, Seattle, Portland, calling them anarchist jurisdictions and threatening to cut their federal funding. Do you think that's the correct move to handle these riots? Well, I think it's unfortunately one of the few moves that's available. If the federal government isn't allowed to enter these cities and help uh, really squash these riots, often because the governors and the mayors are either telling you they're not happening, as you saw in the clip with Bill de Blasio, he's saying that he went to a one era and it was perfectly fine, therefore riots don't exist. They're really not giving the federal government any choice, unless you're going to go marching in with the National Guard, which would be its own political battle. Really, funding is one of the only options there is. Whether or not that'll be effective is really to be seen. That's also why the Supreme Court is such a contentious issue right now. But the federal government have very little left when state and local governments are shirking their responsibility to protect our, our right to physical safety. It's appalling to witness. And you're right. So de Blasio is saying, well, I don't see anything. Everything's fine. <laughs> However, the people living on the ground, they know there's a problem. And we're starting to see because people are, are, you know, they're moving now. They're moving out of these blue areas. They're moving out of uh, states like New York and California. Do you think that shows that people are beginning to wake up to these policies? Or do you think that they'll bring their same Democrat policies to red areas and then just infect more cities and states? Well, I think that's the worry. I think there are people who are moving, who are on the left, who don't like the extreme element of the left, but they don't understand how it's been a drip drip process to get to this point. They don't understand that the more, I hate to say liberal, but some of the left leaning but not radical left positions, they're going to take to purple states. For example, Texas is seeing this. They're going to take those positions, for example, universal health care. They don't see that as a radical position, so they're going to take it wherever they go. And that will only spur on exactly the same radicalism we're seeing in places like New York, who have embraced these positions fully. So it's one thing to move away, to, to get away from one position. You've got to understand there's a reason why the place you're moving to is not like where you're coming from. You can't just pick and choose elements of ideologies you like and hope it'll work out. So in your opinion, what do you think these Democrat mayors and governors and other city officials, what do you think they're getting out of it when it comes to letting their cities get overrun by, say, homeless, a homeless epidemic, and you're seeing needles in the streets and uh, old women being assaulted in broad daylight? What mm -hmm. do you think they're getting out of it by allowing the decay in their urban areas? I don't think they're necessarily getting anything out of it. I think it's mostly, uh, mostly based on ineptitude is they believe that they are the sole, um, sole option to save us from ourselves. And so for them, if they see a problem, they never look in the mirror and say, oh, this might be because of my own policies, for example, the uh, wildfires in California. They always look upwards. So whether it's to blame the next Republican above them or to blame the system, they're incapable of self-reflection. And so I don't think they necessarily think that riots are a good thing for them. I think they might have tried to use the violence to get what they want politically. And when they realized it wasn't working out, Biden suddenly pivoted on the issue of whether or not violence is bad. I think a lot of it, though, is just down to pure uselessness. I mean, most of these Democratic politicians are just morons, quite frankly. You see Bill de Blasio, some of the statements he'd come out with in the last couple of months are just shocking. It's not based on intelligence. It's based on stupidity. I think the only thing that's really holding Democrats and Republicans together right now in New York City is a mutual shared dislike of de Blasio.